Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again. Today, we will be learning how to multiply polynomials. So, in multiplication of polynomials, the a prior knowledge that you need to have would be, first one, you need to know how to multiply numbers. And next one is you need to um, multiply exponents, uh, I mean, multiply variables. And in this case, we just sim it's just simply known as addition of exponents. And last one, you need to know how to distribute, or you need to know the distributive distributive property of equality. Okay po? So these three are your prior knowledge that when you combine, it would be very important or very useful. And the only means of uh, multiplication of polynomials. Okay po? So, let's start immediately. I will not review you on the multiplication of uh, variables anymore. So, let's go to example letter A. So, in example letter A, we have 6V times 2V plus 3. So, again, I'll just remind you guys, if there is no operation and there are parentheses, we may parentheses tayo, it's automatically multiplication. And we will never use the symbol of X anymore for multiplication. Okay? The only means, the, uh, the only multiplication symbol that we would be using is the parentheses or the dot. Okay, so kasi ano, we will be using variables and it would be very confusing if you would see 2x times 2. Kasi you will see, ah, 2x, x2. So it's not. Okay pa? Sige. So now, um, the method that we are actually using when it comes to multiplication of polynomials is just simply this distributive property. Okay? And the distributive property is quite easy to understand. In what way um, do we need to perform the distributive property? You take the number outside, or it could be a binomial or such. Okay, You just simply have to take each term on your left side. So we partition the given into two okay? based on the multiplication operation. Okay, So the multiplication will be here. In this part, okay. So we partition it in that way. Everything on the left side, term by term, you will give it to the terms on the right side. So this is 6v. I will give it to 2v. I will give it to 3. And what operation will I use? I will always use multiplication in giving it to them. So if I will try to rewrite this one, so this would be 6v times 2v, and then we group them para hindi nakakalito. And then, it's always addition outside. We have 6V times 3. Okay? So, you will notice that you will have two multiplication cases here. And what happens there would be you multiply them individually. So, let's go to the first case of multiplication. That is 6V times 2V. I did told you guys that the, other, the first two prior knowledge that you need to have is you need to know how to multiply numbers here. And you need to know how to multiply variables. Now, when it comes to multiplication of numbers, it's quite easy. You just simply have to take the numbers on the, your given. So, that would be 6 times 2. Okay? And then, next one would be for the variables, the Vs. You need to multiply them separately. Okay? 6 times 2 is 12. And V times V is V squared. So, what happened there? When you are multiplying variables, automatically, if there is no exponent written here, it's automatically 1. Okay? But, then again, if you would have any cases like, say, this one, x squared times x raised to 6, what happens here is I need to add the exponents. I-add ko daw pala siya. I have to copy the variable and I need to add 2 and 6. 2 plus 6 is simply 8. In this case, it became squared because... By default, there is 1 here and 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay? So, I will remove this one at the bottom para hindi nakakalito. So, we'll have 12 and V squared. So, just put them together. Okay? No more um, fancy schmancy uh, method. Just place them together. Yan. Write them together. Yan. Okay? So, the next thing that we need to do is we need to take the second case of multiplication being 6V times 3. Now, on 6V times 3, you will multiply the same case, the numbers, dot, 
and the letter. Since the letter is has no partner, therefore you leave it as is. And 6 times 3, the answer is simply 18. And V will be retained as the same because there is no partner, giving you an answer of 18V. Okay? Since again, we are just simply um, adding them together, so we will add them. So, ito palang 6V times 2V, ang sagot is this one. So, dito yan. So, yan. Magkakaroon ka ng 12V squared. So, you will have 12V squared. And this 6V times 3, it's this one. So, therefore, this entire thing will be replaced by 18V. So, it would become, sorry, this one is this. It would become plus 18V. And therefore, after you have um, multiplied and you have checked, mayroon ba silang similar term? If there is none, then therefore you have your final answer. You have already multiplied your given. Okay, so this is a little bit easier compared to ano, um, addition. Okay, so you multiply and add the variables. Okay, let's have something a little bit longer in a sense. Oh, sorry, longer given, I mean. Sorry, let me move my letter. It should be somewhere here. Okay, oops. Okay, oops. Okay. So this B, um, example letter B, let's say we have um, a longer, a bigger group. Say we have um, 2x times x cubed plus x, uh, 3x squared minus 4x plus 9. Okay? So again, we divide the given based on the multiplication. And the multiplication would be where? It would be here. Kasi this is the parenthesis and no operation. Because I did told you a while ago that if there is a parenthesis and there is no visible operation, it's always here. There's a multiplication here. Okay? So anyways, going back to our given, meaning on this partition, everything on the left side will be distributed to the right side, term by term. So I will give this 2x here. I will give this 2x here on 3x squared. I will give 2x also to 4x. And I will give 2x to 9. And just a reminder, whatever we do on addition when it comes to sign, you always take the operation before the term. So meaning, this would be positive x cubed. This would be positive 3x squared. This is negative 4x. And this is positive 9. Okay? So now, let's try to distribute the 2x, okay? So, distributing 2x will give me the very first one. Dito, dito. Okay? 2x times x cubed. Always addition. 2x give to 3x squared. So, 2x times 3x squared. Next, we give it to negative 4x. Sabi ko, it's always addition. 2x times negative 4x. Next, we give it here to 9. So, this would give us always addition, 2x times 9. Then, we evaluate them. I will not do the method that I have done before because it would take a lot of time. What I will do here is I will solve immediately. So, you will notice here, there is no number, right? Wala pong number. But, again, I told you, if there is no number, it's automatically 1. And what is 2 times 1? 2 times 1 would give you 2. And we have x times x cubed. This is 1 and this is x cubed. So, it would give you an answer of x raised to 4. Okay. So, uh, maybe I'll just write it down so that you will be able to follow. Okay. So, this is our first multiplication. Second, third, and our fourth one. Okay. So, first one would be 2x times x cubed. This is 2 times 1 because it's automatically, there's 1 here. And this is x times x cubed. It will give me an answer for 2 times 1 of 2. And this one would be x raised to 4. Okay, so this is 2 x raised to 4. Let's go to the next one. It's 2 x times 3 x squared. This is 2 times 3 because the numbers only. And we have x times x squared. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6, and x times x squared is x cubed. 
Bakit? Kasi may 1 dyan lagi. Okay? So, giving you an answer of 6x cubed. So, take a note of these things. Ha? This, I will encircle them using the blue. This given, I this answer and then this answer. Now, let's proceed to the next one, uh, number 3. The third multiplication is 2x times negative 4x. So, this is 2 times negative 4 and x times x. Okay? So, what would be the answer kaya here in 2 times negative 4? 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 kasi because may, uh, there's a negative number there. Okay? And it's just positive times negative is negative. And x times x is x squared. Giving you an answer of negative 8, negative 8, x squared. Next, we have number 4. That is 2x times 9. So, that would be 2 times 9. And since x has no partner, we leave it as is. 2 times 9 is 18 and x would be the same, giving us 18x. Okay? So, now we combine this answers with the blue circle. Okay? The answers with the blue circle using addition only. Okay? So, this would be 2 x raised to 4. So, ito na yung final answer po, ah. The second one, ito. Second one. Plus 6x cubed. Plus negative 8x squared. And plus 18x. Okay? And lastly, if there are similar terms or any plus minuses, just simply change them. And arrange the given from highest to lowest degree. Giving you an answer of 2x raised to 4 highest, plus 6x cubed, the second highest, minus 8x squared, the second, uh, the third highest, and since this is plus minus, it became, became minus. And lastly, we have 18x, which is the last, or the smallest degree. Okay? And if the, everything is um, good, um, no similar terms, no plus minuses, and it is on the simplest form, therefore, this is your final answer and always box your final oops oh my goodness an ugly box always box your final answer okay so that would be our second example now what if you're given let's go to given number c what if you're given would have multiple terms on your left side so for example we have 2a minus 1, parenthesis, 8a minus 5. Okay. So, the multiplication bar would be, uh, the multiplication operation would be here kasi there's no operation between them. So, meaning every term, so I was using, I think I was using the orange one. Okay. Every term would, on the left side, would be given or distributed to all the term on the right side. So, this 2a will be given to 8a and this negative 5 and this given negative 1 will be also given to 8a and it also be given to negative 5. So, you will be giving the term twice. So, for this one, yan, write ko lang, okay? And this is called the distributive property. You give them, okay, what they deserve. And this 2a needs to be given to 8 and 5. And this negative 1 deserves to be given also to 8, A, and 5. Okay, so now let's try to distribute properly. So distributing properly will give you, let's start first with 2A. So this would be 2A times 8A. This is our first multiplication. Always addition, remember. 2A times 5. So this would be 2A times negative 5. Then we have plus always negative 1 times 8a kasi yun yung ating negative 1, the green one, always plus negative 1 times negative, oh sorry, not, not minus, times negative 5. And this would give you, of course, 4 multiplication operation. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's try to operate on them individually, okay? So, first one, first operation is 2a times 8a. 
So what we need to do here is we need to multiply the number to number and letter to letter. You're all familiar na 2 times 8 is 16 and a times a is a squared. Next, second multiplication. We have 2a times negative 5. Number to number. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And a since no partner, so we leave it as is. The third one. Ito, negative 1 times 8a. Negative 1 times 8 is number to number. The answer would be negative 8. Since a has no partner, we copy a as is. Then we have number 4 would be negative 1 times negative 5. So that is multiplication of numbers. Since they are both negative, 1 times 5 is positive 5. Then again, we put them together. Okay, we put them together under addition. 16a squared plus negative 10a plus negative 8a plus 5. Always plus 4. And you have to check. All the plus minuses will be converted. A po yan A. All the plus minuses will be converted to minus. 16A squared minus 10A minus 8A plus 5. You will notice here on the middle part is that there is a similar term. Combining similar term based on our previous topic. I will not repeat this anymore. Negative 10a minus 8a will give you negative 18a plus 5. If there are no similar terms, if the, if the given is arranged from highest to lowest degree, and there are no plus minuses, therefore this is your final answer. Okay? So again, girls, um, if you have any question regarding the... Um, similar term, you go back to our previous video po. Okay? So, addition of similar terms or combination of similar terms should only deal with the um, numerical coefficient. Okay? So, that would be an example for multiple um, polynomials on the... I, I mean, multiple terms on the left side. Oops, sorry, oops, sorry for that. So, let's have our last example. Example letter D. So have the most complicated one that I could think of. Alright, so we have 4a plus 2 times 6a squared minus a plus 2. This is a, okay? So we have this little, let me write my a properly. a squared minus a plus 2. Okay, so we have this given. Let's now try to distribute. Again, it would be here on the middle, here on this part pala, not in the middle, okay? So, meaning everyone, everything on the left side will be given to the right side. So, let's try to give them, distribute them properly. This 4a would be for the blue one. So, give it to 6a, give it to negative a, give it to 2. And for the green one, which is 2, positive 2, give it to 6a squared, give it to negative a, and give it also to 2. So, meaning, you will see there would be one, let me use my other color, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six multiplications po. Okay? So, let's now do our rewriting. So, we have 4a times, dito muna tayo sa number one, 4a times 6a squared, always plus, remember, you have 4a still times negative a, always plus, then we have um, 4a times 2, okay, always plus, now let's proceed to the green one, the 2, 2 times 6a squared, plus, let me zoom out a little bit, I think we would be consuming a bigger space here, plus, parenthesis 2, times negative a, and finally, we have 2 times 2. You will notice here that again, all the operations between these multiplications are always addition po. Okay? So now, let's proceed to our multiplication. Again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So what I will do here is I will multiply directly. So I need you girls to follow closely. For the number 1, Number to number and letter to letter, 4 times 6 here, 
uh, I'm talking about this one pa, baka hindi na nakikita. 4 times 6 is 24. A times A squared is A cubed. Plus, 4A times negative A. Since there is no number here, or by default, it's 1, right? 4 times negative 1, the answer is negative 4. A times A is A squared. Plus, 4A times 2. Number to number, 4 times 2 is 8. And A has no partner, so it's retained as A. Plus, number 4, 2 times 6A squared. Number to number and letter to letter, 6 times 2, the answer is 12. And A has no partner, so it's A squared. Next, plus still, 2 times negative A. Again, if there is no number beside, it's automatically 1. 2 times negative 1, the answer is negative 2. A has no partner, so it's A. Plus, 2 times 2, the answer is of course 4. Checking the given if there are similar terms. Similar term, itong a squared and another a squared. This a and this negative 2a. Wait, let's use a different shape. So, this a, 8a and this negative 2a. Okay? So, we have 24a cubed. Because it has no partner, we rewrite it immediately. This negative 4a squared plus 12a squared. Negative 4 plus 12 here. Yeah, negative 4 plus 12, it would give you an answer of positive 8, copy the variable a squared. Next, we have 8a, this one, and we have negative 2a. Similar term, 8 minus 2, or 8 plus negative 2, it will give you an answer of 6a, copy the variable. And lastly, we have 4. Checking the given, given if it is a range from highest to lowest degree, no plus minuses, and at the same time, no similar term. Therefore, this is your final answer. Box always a final answer. Okay? So, I do hope that you have learned something today. If you would have any other questions, you can chat me po. Or in our class, you can raise that. Um, then again, thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.